We are absolutely flying in the league. Six games, six wins, 27 goals scored and one goal conceded, including an 11 nil win over, at the time, third place we have. So things are going very, very well in the league. We've had a major injury to a centre-half, which has cost us a little bit. Straight after the summer transfer window as well, so we couldn't replace him. But let's get into the special one. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. It is the special one. Two games, two home games. Vittoria Gumares, who are third, going quite well in the league, and also bottom of the table. Chavez, two home games. It should be six points. Hopefully you'll be able to see the attacking quality we have on display. Now, if you're still enjoying this series, what I'd like you to do is smash a like on today's video. It'd be brilliant if I can get this video up to 50 likes. Just shows me that you're still enjoying the content. Muchly appreciated. Go down and do that now. I'm going to show you the league table. Okay, so the league table looks like that. 18 points, 27 goal difference, 28 goal scored in six games, 11 against Rio Ave, six against Tondela, five against Pacos de Ferreira, which was the, the game in the last episode. Absolutely fire, flying. Champions League wise, we've been given a, a good group. We were first seeds, Juventus popped out second seeds, Villarreal third season, and Poke. Fourth seeds. We've lost at home to Juventus. Really poor performance. I was hoping we could maybe just nick a, nick a point off them. They've then drawn with Pauk themselves. So it's opened it out a little bit. Three games gone. We've got Villarreal to play next. And then we'll have a home game against Pauk. And then an away game against Juventus. So it's going to be a tight. We need to make sure, especially against Villarreal, that we get three points and then we don't drop points against Pauk. I really don't want to end up in the Europa League. The Allianz Cup. We actually lost our first game of the season playing a second string side. You've got to play your 221s. I played two 17-year-olds in the centre midfield. Um, we got turned over in the first game by Porto Menense. We've just beaten Moriense. It opens it out for the second game, the, uh, the last game of the season. The board aren't too bothered. They only want... Uh, they're not, not important at all. We won this last year, though. Um, we play Nacional. We need Porto Menense to slip up against Moriense. So, yeah, it's going to be tight. Hopefully, hopefully Moriense can do us a job. And then we'll hopefully over then overturn them on goal difference. We'll try and put out a strong side for that. And then the Taka de Portugal. We are got a home game coming against up against Vitória Gomares. That's the one that I want to win. That's like the FA Cup, the one that's escaped me so far. So it'd be nice to win that before we resign at the end of the season. Remember, this is our last season with Setable. So the performances, there are the results. Two defeats, Porto Manoves in the Cup, Juventus in the Champions League. We've dabbled with a with a 4-3-3 narrow um, for two cup games just to help us with rotation. We've got plenty of strikers, plenty of central midfielders when we include the youngsters. So um, everything, the tactic-wise, is still the same. Instruction still the same. We just play a, like a, a flat 4-3-3. We had a tremendous run of games. So pack after the last episode, a 6-1 at Tondela and then an 11-0. September's been a little bit harder to, to, to come by now. It's, I would say it was, it's been down to two things, I think. We've not been as fluent. Nikola Milenkovic broke his leg, so he's going to probably need replacing. He's 31 years old. I've already seen the de decrease in Munayin in my Bilbao save, where he had a big injury, Achilles injury. He was out for five months. He returned and lost a load of physicals. And as you can see, his stamina, while he's injured, is taking a major drop. And with him being 31, how much more is that going to pick up? He's dropped down half a star as well. So we're rocking without him. I'm going to try and sign a player in January as well. We haven't got a massive amount of money. But we've got 90 million. That probably would get us a, maybe a centre-half that's transfer listed. So that's been one. Also, big one for us. Vignato, Cherky. Uh, Cherky's been doing bits. But Vignato, Conceição, Casu, all kind of struggle with, with fitness. Playing Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday hasn't really helped them, to be honest. Um, so that's been a slight struggle. Perez has only played five games of the season. He's just come back. He was out for like two months. So we've missed him, but he's back in. Um, so we're looking okay. Hoover's done an okay job at centre-half for us. But we have been playing Venus. Portugal, Portuguese youngster. Well, not youngster anymore. 25 years old. Finally getting his opportunity. Very nice. Physicals are pretty good. Nice and quick. Um, mental's okay. T technical's okay. He does a job. But I think when it comes to the second half of the season... Playing in the big games, the big Champions League games, hopefully we need to purchase a centre-half and we will try and do that in January. 
Goal scoring wise, Perez and even Nielsen, nine goals in ten in eleven and twelve games for them. Conte Sam, right? So the Rio Ave game when we won what was it? Eleven nil. Conte Sao scored five. He didn't come on till the fifty fifth minute. So he's got five goals in 35 minutes. So his stats obviously look, look pretty good. He's only scored one of the but six goals in three starts, four or sub. So not a bad return. Cherky, Vignato, Kasu looks very, very good. Perez has made an immediate impact for us. Um, and Venas as well has got a couple of goals from set pieces. Rafael Fiesta has missed missed the start of the season. He's just starting to get in, get involved a little bit. But once again, with Perez and even Ilsen doing so well, I found it a little bit harder just to give him enough game time. So he'll probably get a game, maybe not today, but definitely in the definitely in the second game against Chavez. This is the starting lineup we're going with. Howard Bellis and Vinas at the back with Hoover and Vera on the side. Middle two, best two of Perez and Casu. Cherky on the left, Vignato on the right, probably my best combination with them as well. And even Nielsen up front. I've just changed even Nielsen onto a, def- a deep line forward on attack just to get him a little bit higher up the pitch. And our loney from Manchester City, the Argentinian Perez, leading the line. Vittorio Gumarez have actually started pretty well. They're in third place. Benfica, even though they lost at the start of the season against Setable, have won every game since. So they're still right close up to a sporting of basically out of it already. We're seven clear of them. A win today will get us ten clear of them. So they're probably not going to hope to mount any sort of title challenge. Right, here we go. Hopefully goals, goals, goals for today. This one might be a little bit tighter. Um, but it'd be good to show you the attacking quality that we have in this team. I've decided as well, even when we play the big boys, we're just going for it. Because I think we've got so much going forward. Yes, we're not great. Even Nielsen's already scored. Even though we're not great at the back, um, I don't want to drop off and be a little bit negative. Even though it kind of didn't work against Juventus, that was just an overall disappointing display. I think even when we play the big boys, I think we've got enough quality, especially if I bring a centre-half in in the January transfer. Um, hopefully... That will make us a little bit more so solid at the back. And then we just go at teams, I think, and try and beat them home and away. Right, Turkey with the corner. Cleared. And of course, January tran- the summer transfer window ended and Milenkovic got injured while on international duty, like literally two days after. Which was rather annoying because we could have solved that problem a little bit quicker. But it has given us... Get in. 2-0. It has given us the opportunity to play Venas. I do want to keep him because he's Portuguese, but he does keep asking for more game time. So at least this little run of games up until Christmas time is going to keep him happy. We're absolutely running away with it already. Good football, Vignato. Lovely little pullback. Perez was there near post. 2-0. Easy. Right, Frida with the throw. Estevez. Zikovic. Estevez. So they've started well of Victoria Gumarez. Third place, they'll be looking with Sporting struggling slightly. They may be looking at that third Champions League spot. They're in, they've hit the post. However, I would like Setable to get it. It'd be good for Setable to get Champions League football again. Okay, Vignato, Vera. Lovely clip in. Even Nielsen's there, smashes it in. Top corner, lovely assist from Jose Vera, who has started the season a little bit poorly. 7.18. He has pulled out a lot of performances that have been sort of like 6.4, 6.5s. He won't be getting one of them today because that's a beautiful pass. Got it back from a Vignato. And then a clip through. Even he also working on the shoulder a little bit. I do find the deep line forward on attack just drops off. But then he does work sort of like the last man a little bit. Puts pressure on the centre half a little bit more. I was just seeing him drop into spaces that I necessarily didn't need him to drop into. Okay, so start the second half. We'll get some changes in as well. I am trying to do as many changes as I possibly can. Especially when games are done. I'm really liking this defensive record. I'd love it to be as low as we can. Even though we're hunting goals down, it is bugging me when we concede in second half, so concede late goals when we're we're, we're clearly winning and we we lose our clean sheet. Okay, we've got the game in midweek against... I know, we're in midweek now, so we've got the game at the weekend against Chavez. So let's do a little change. Let's obviously get Consisso on. Let's get Fester on up front. And let's take Casu off. Let's get the youngster on. This is one of the youngsters that we're playing. Montero, we have got another youngster as well in Luis Luis. We just rotate with them, giving them as much opportunity as we can. I think the other one, actually, Luis Luis, his improvement over the last three months since that season has been incredible. I'll show you him in the next game. We may even give him a little go, just to rest a few players. Right, Perez, even Nielsen. He's lost out. Come on, we don't want to concede. Back to Zikovic. Are we going to win it? No. 
not got anybody right up front. Oh, he's moving up there now. Estevez into Correa. I'm not going to pronounce that one. He's got it back. Good football. Come on. Clean sheet, please. Clean sheet, please. We are missing Montero. He's got a slight knock on that left-hand side. They've scored. No clean sheet for rules. Disappointing our only our second goal conceded of the season. Gives them a lifeline. I don't think it's going to be enough. Right, last stoppage time. Last highlight of the game. Are we going to get something? This is going to be another count. No, it's not. Perez has done well. Vera, that's terrible. I don't want a dirty 3-2. Can we win it? Win it? Win it? Win it? No. Just let him pass it. They're going to get another one here. Rubau. Stand. 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 Venus. Well done. Stand. Cross in the box. Montero does very well. The youngster to head clear. We're going to break. We are. Festa picks it up. Lovely pa pass out to Concisão. He's still going. He's still going. Find a pass. Perez strikes it. Oh, it hits the bar. And that should be the end of the game. 3-1. We'll take it. Keeps our run going. 100% record in the league. And there it is. 3-1. Even Eelson. Man of the match. But good all-round performance. Kasu struggled a little bit. 6.6. .6. I think like the 6.6 .6 is, the, is the new norm. Is the new 7. Um, but we'll take it. But a good display. Dominated. They had a couple of sniffs. But they are going well. They are third. Now we've got Chavez. Bottom of the league. We want, we want goals, don't we? We want goals, goals, goals. Yeah, Chavez. Bottom of the league. Lost all eight games. This could spell trouble for Chavez. Okay, boys. There's the team for the next game. Montero is in on the left-hand side. At le back at left fullback. Really solid good left-back for us. He glad he's back in the side. Hoover drops to the bench. Everything else has stayed the same. We've got the youngster. Here's the youngster. Luis Luis. 17 years old. He's Well, he's approaching 18 next month. Very good, six foot one. Physicals coming on nicely as well. Passing seventeen, technique sixteen. Everything on the rise. He's going to be a sensational player. Maybe a player that I look to take with me when to we move to the next club. All right. Now I want you guys that are still watching. I want you to give me a score prediction. We are top of the league. They've played eight, lost eight. They've scored four, let in seventeen. We're on thirty-one and two. Score prediction down below okay 15 minutes first highlight we've not had goals 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 yet Perez they're not ex they're not entirely parking the bus out either the heat map did show they're, they're quite pretty open a little bit too open because even Nielsen has found a little bit of space off the shoulder of the centre half lovely was that Kasu with a pick out as well they're trying to say the goalkeeper should have done better but it was a brilliant finish Perez into Turkey did he pop it off yeah, Kasu, I am finding in the midfield an advanced playmaker role in the midfield is absolutely tremendous. I've really enjoyed the advanced playmaker role this year. Not in the number 10. I've enjoyed using it out wide um, and also in central midfield. I just find it when they're in a, that, when they play in the central midfield zone rather than the cam zone, they just drop a little bit deeper. Generally gives them a little bit more time on the ball, a little bit more space as well to find those passes, them through balls. Montero, it's clear that they're going to break. So yeah, probably one of my favourite, it would be up there with my favourite role, I think, of FM21. We're not having the goal, the goal spectacular that I expected from this game. Montero, even Eelson, cross, cleared. Casu, out to Vera, good football. Perez, blocked, I'm getting it back, we will do. Vinas into Montero. Clips it over. Lovely for Cherky. Oh, he's put it absolutely in the top corner. What a finish from Cherky. 2 0. Settles us down for the second half. Well, I think what we'll do second half as well, we'll bring on the youngster, um, Luis Luis. We'll play three in midfield, three up front. Rest a couple as well for the Champions. We've got Champions League game on, on the Wednesday. So we've got a nice few days rest now. Vignato struggled. Let's do a couple of changes. So this is what we've got. Secondary tactic. Let's get the big man on Fester. Let's get Luis Luis on there. Rest a couple. Let's go again, boys. Yeah, they're quite they're quite open. It's not complete part of the bus. Chavez. We may be just not quite at it. Vera. Pressing the goalie. We should get that back. We haven't. We've allowed them to get it down. They're going to have a little break on us here. 
We don't want to be conceding against a team that are bottom of the league and have scored four goals in eight games, boys. Lencina's punched. You don't see that very often. And they're still coming. Pereira. Ramos Cardosa. Good save with his feet. Does he tend to punch? Eight. No, that was a weird one. That was a weird one, but he punched it anyway. We, we just got away with it. Right, Ramos with the corner. He's hit the bar. <laughs> Another little action I've never seen before in the match engine. Villa Verde. Vinas has done well. Cleared. We should be. No, he's going to come back, is it? Again? Come on, boys. They're in again, and they've put it wide. A little shower at them just to sort themselves out. Howard Bellis knocks it down to Perez, into Casu, into Festa. Casu, out wide to Ivan Ilsen. Cross, that's probably going to be a penalty, is it? Because it was going on Perez's head, and I think he just got the slightest of nudges. He's going to VAR, penalty given. Ivan Ilsen will be stepping up to seal it. There we go, 3-0, boys. Happy days. Let's take Perez off. Let's get let's get Maya on. The super sub. Okay, Luis Luis into Casu. Maya down this right hand side. Luis Luis. Casu. Even Nielsen. Back to Casu. Lovely football. Montero on the overlap. Good. Can we get a cross? Can we get a cross? No, it's cleared. We get that back? We will. Casu goes again. Into Perez. Luis Luis. Lovely pass into Maya. That's a little bit naughty. What a pass from the youngster. And then a what a finish with Maya. I think on his left foot as well. His weaker foot. A bit of a scissors volley. Lovely pick out by Luis Luis. Just a little clip in the hole. Yeah, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. 17, pretty much nearly 20 minutes to go. We've got a good opportunity to get a couple more goals here. I want to be breaking records. Pereira is in. I want a clean sheet. Good save by Lencina. They've had a few sniffs. We always give teams a few little sniffs. We're not completely unbreakable. Kasu's done well to head clear there. Corner kick. Kasu with it. Half cleared. We're going to get that back. For some reason, my six foot six striker Fester is lurking on the edge of the area. Brilliant. He's managed to pick it up. Luis Luis. Lovely pass. Into Eva Nielsen. Luis Luis has got a lovely range of passing. Even Ilson crosses, Perez is there, there's the five, get in. It's looking, it's looking like a score we should be getting against top versus bottom. Really good finish from Perez. Pull back from Even Ilson, then a bullet header to give us five. Let's praise it, get the happiness up a little bit. Howard Bellis into Luis Luis, Casu, Perez, Maya. Drops it lovely on his chest. Luis Luis again. Has he got anything special? He goes for a little knock into Perez. Good football again. If we can get there, we can't. Naomi. Pereira. Naomi. I think this is the dude that we let go on a free. Or very cheaply in the board. We're happy that we let him go. And he's he's not great. Fester. Kasu. Even Nielsen. Get an overlap in. Kasu. We have lovely passes outside of the foot. Montero, cross, Maya's there, he gets himself another, the super sub, what a player this boy has been for me, I might even, to wherever we go, wherever we go, I might have to just take Maya with me, um, I really do like this team that we've put together, given the opportunity, I'd probably sign about eight or nine of them, right, Montero, lovely dink, Maya's there, glancing header, flicks it into the corner, it's 6-0, there we go, 6-0, well done. I don't know if anyone's going to comment on comment without cheating, obviously, and say that it was going to be 6-0. There we go, boys. Maximum points as well. Just what we need. Just breeze through games. We've got a tough game against Villarreal coming up in Champions League. But we have got... The good thing about Portugal is when we've got a Champions League game, they give us an extra day. So we actually played this game on the Friday. Then it gives us a five-day rest till the Wednesday, which is really good to give us just that little bit of a boost for the Champions League. But there we go, boys. Five points clear. Benfica have lost again. They've lost to Pacos de Ferreras, who were there, who we beat at the opening game of the season. Um, I'm not going to start saying, yes, we're going to be champions just yet, because I've just got a feeling that Benfica, as they always do, in between sort of like a third of the way through the season, so they always start off a little bit slow, and then from then, right until the end of the season, they have a big push. So we're not gonna we're not gonna call ourselves champions yet, but we've made a really good start. Settable luck, still undefeated. 
Still undefeated. Have we got them coming up soon? No, we've got them at a little bit of a gap. So that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you smash the like on today's video. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, we'll see you next week, Tuesday, for the next episode. We'll probably come back somewhere. We may even do Juventus away. All right, guys. Take care. See you later. They tell us lies and